What's going on guys? This is Matt and I finally did it. I caved and purchased Player Unknown Battlegrounds and today I'm going to be putting it up against my $100 gaming PC for 2017. So let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know, Players Unknown Battlegrounds, or PUBG for short, is a multiplayer online battle royale video game developed and published by Bluehole. Essentially you load into a lobby with 99 other people, you're flown over the map and get to choose where you eject from the plane. You parachute down and from there it's an all out free for all, you go from building to building collecting gear and trying to be the last man standing. Not only this, but as the game progresses the playable area becomes smaller and smaller which helps eliminate people from camping the entire game. There's solo, duo, and squad queue, and they've even recently implemented a first person only mode. This is an early access game, so performance and optimization are certainly not great yet, and even the most high end systems struggle to max this title out. So what specs is my $100 gaming PC rocking, and more importantly, is it up to the task of playing PUBG? Well I'll quickly go over the specs, but if you want to see the full video and story about this PC, along with proof of pricing, I'll have a link to it both in the card above and description down below. What I did to get a system so cheap is take an old Dell PC I picked up from eBay, throw the internals into a different case, add a new power supply, graphics card, and hard drive, and I was up and running with a very capable gaming machine. At the heart of this system is the Intel Core i3 2100. This is a dual core CPU with hyper threading, and though it is a few years old, it's still a viable option for light 1080p gaming. Looking at player unknown battlegrounds minimum requirements, it recommends you have at least an i3 4340, which is slightly better than the i3-2100 in my system. This did have me slightly worried going into testing. For RAM, my system's rocking 8GB of DDR3, 2 gigs above the recommended 6, so we're good there, and my GTX 660 is the exact GPU recommended as the minimum to play this game, so I was good there as well. Other specs of this machine include an OEM Dell Optiplex motherboard, a 450 watt cooler master power supply, and a 160GB WD Blue hard drive. Overall, for $100, I put together a very capable machine that I'm pretty proud of, and again, for the full video with proof of pricing, look in the card above or description down below. Downloading and loading up PUBG, I wasn't met with any messages saying your system doesn't meet the minimum requirements like I've seen when running stuff like GTA 5 on lower end systems, so I proceeded in the menu and looked to see what settings it defaulted me to, which originally was medium. I hadn't played this game before testing it on the system, so I didn't know how intensive it was to run, so I just left it at the medium preset and loaded into a game. I quickly began to realize that at 1080p medium settings the system was not providing a playable experience. It produced an average of 32 FPS with a low of 14, meaning there were frequent drops in the 20s. I also realized I had no idea how to play this game, so after doing some PUBG research on YouTube and setting the graphics preset to very low, I jumped back into the game and was very surprised to find the system was providing a very playable experience. At 1080p very low settings, this PC produced an average of 43 FPS and a minimum of 21, and though this was only a 10 FPS improvement over medium settings, it was much more enjoyable and smooth and it almost never dropped below 30 FPS. Would I call this the most enjoyable PUBG experience? Absolutely not, but it was playable and I didn't really feel at any disadvantage playing on this system. Overall, PUBG is pretty intensive and poorly optimized, but it seems to run fine on many low-end gaming-centric computers. My hopes is that as time goes on and development progresses on this game, it will become more optimized. This game's gaining so much popularity and if they're able to optimize it to the point the majority of computers could run it, then I think it has the potential to be one of the biggest online games of all time. So Conclusion time. Can this PC run PUBG? Yes it can. It's a playable experience but not super enjoyable. If you want to see me put this system up against other games, let me know what games in the comment section down below and don't forget to check out the original video about this PC. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.